In Kalimnos, Greece, divers have long profited from one of the ocean's natural treasures, sea sponges. You can pick up a synthetic sponge for just a couple of dollars, but a single sea sponge hand harvested from the Mediterranean sea floor could set you back $30. Harvesting these sponges is dangerous work, and the risks don't guarantee big rewards. Sponges used to be plentiful in the Mediterranean, but these days they're hard to find, and it's making this already difficult job harder. So what's happening to the sponges here? And is this what's making them so expensive? Synthetic sponges, like the ones commonly used to wash dishes, are cheap, and that makes them popular. But natural sea sponges have been used for centuries, and they're still essential for pottery, painting, and even as a surgical tool. But to get your hands on a sponge like this, a diver first had to hand harvest it from the sea floor. High quality commercial sea sponges are found in select regions, including off the coast of Florida and the Caribbean Sea. The most valuable ones are largely found here in the Mediterranean, but they're not so easy to come by. And it means the dangerous effort to find them isn't always worthwhile. One of the most dangerous parts of harvesting sponges happens at the end of a dive. Although it's less common now, the most common injury divers face is decompression sickness. This happens when divers transfer from a high pressure environment to a low pressure environment too quickly. Nitrogen builds up in a diver's body as they go deeper underwater, and the body needs time to release this nitrogen before reaching the surface. Otherwise, divers risk hurting parts of their body, or worse. Αν είναι κεφάλι να πεθάνει από εγκεφαλικό, αν είναι στην καρδιά από καρδιά, ή να μείνει στην καλύτερη των περιπτώσεων παράλυτος, εφόσον αυτή η φυσαλίδα μπλοκάρει ένα μια αρτηρία που πάει χέρι πόδι και τα λοιπά. Not only is this one of the biggest risks, but it's also more time-consuming than the dive itself. The time it takes to resurface depends on how deep a diver swims. A diver might only spend 30 minutes diving at 50 meters, but they could spend between one and two hours just returning to the surface safely. Ανάλογα με το βάθος και το χρόνο, ο δίτης πρέπει να κάνει την αντίστοιχη αποσυμπίεση. Ατυρώντας τα μέτρα, δεν εξαλείφουμε τελείως τον κίνδυνο για ένα τύχημα καταδυτικό, αλλά σίγουρα το περιορίζουμε. It's becoming crucial for divers to fish in deeper waters where more valuable sponge species can be easier to find. But diving deeper also means a diver has limited time to harvest. Otherwise, too much time is lost to resurfacing and resting between dives. Despite the little time they have, extracting the sponges isn't a quick or simple task. At times, divers must grab hold of a sponge with both hands, using their force and a bit of wiggling side to side to extract one. It's important that they leave enough sponge substrate attached to the seabed. That way, the sponge has the potential to regrow, and the population can be sustained. Another hurdle divers face is how many sponges they can harvest. In shallow waters, divers can harvest only as many sponges as they can carry. Typically, a diver will carry about three to four nets worth of sponges, or about eight kilograms to the surface, before going back down to search for more. But there's no guarantee a diver will find that many sponges. Today especially, there's a good chance they'll return with fewer sponges than they hope for. There are likely a few factors causing this decline. Antonis Kamparakis spent 50 years diving for sponges. He believes the climate crisis is one major cause of the declining population. The other main issues are likely waste and disease. Όταν πάει να βούμε οτιδήποτε βρώμικο πράμα, θα ψοφίσουν λοιπόν τα οργανισμοί αυτοί και ψοφάγει το σφουγγάρι. Αντάλαβες. 
Sponges used to be known as soft gold in Greece. They thrived in these warm waters, which is why the Greek islands, and especially Kalymnos, have historically been a center for sponge fishing. But the dangerous nature of this work, and the lack of sponges in the sea, make it difficult to find divers who want to do the job. Compared to the hundreds in the 60s, only about 30 to 40 people still dive for sponges in Kalymnos today. And this is actually one of the reasons the prices of some sponges have gotten so high. Because fewer people dive for the sponges here, and because the ones that are left are difficult to find, the sponges have more time to grow. And this means the ones divers do find are often bigger, which makes them more valuable. At a separate processing facility, producers clean batches of the extracted sponges to remove any remaining black residue from the sea. A worker then trims each sponge one by one. Although bigger sponges are worth more, workers often cut them down. This makes a sponge easier to clean and bathe with, and naturally more marketable. Nicolas Macriplis processes five sponge species from the Mediterranean. Sponges from this region are desirable for their durability and softness. Της Καραϊβικής και το Gulf of Mexico και της Κούβας και όλα αυτά τα σφουγγάρια. Αυτά τα σφουγγάρια δεν έχουν τόσο χρόνο γιατί έχουν ψηλές θερμοκρασίες, αναπτύσσει το σφουγγάρι πολύ πιο γρήγορα. Ενώ το μεσογειακό σφουγγάρι θέλει για να έρθει σε μέγεθο εμπορέσιμο, θέλει τέσσερα χρόνια, θέλει πέντε χρόνια. Καταλάβατε, γι' αυτό το κάνει και ιδιαίτερο το αυτό. Ε, τώρα, όσον αφορά την αντοχή και την ποιότητα, πάλι επιμένουμε στο μεσογειακό σφουγγάρι. Fino is one of the most coveted types he sells. A single 12 cm sponge of this species can retail for $30. The premium you pay for all that we have said is a physical product. All the decisions of it are with the hand. The man is able to get it to 40-45 meters of it to get it. In the end, there is a process that is not biomechanical. Ψαλιδίζεται με το χέρι, ε, ασπρίζεται, λευκένεται με το χέρι, πλένεται με θαλασσινό νερό. Higher prices mean a better return for divers and merchants like Nicolas. But with fewer sponges to find, the future of an industry that once carried the island of Kalymnos has a major hurdle to face. Όσο θα υπάρχει λιγότερη παραγωγή και μικρότερη, μικρότερο η αλίευση, η αντικείμενο αλίευσης, θα ανεβαίνουν οι τιμές, ναι. Το θέμα είναι πόσο εμείς θα αντέξουμε να βρισκόμαστε σε μια δουλειά η οποία θα είναι αυτή η οποία δεν θα μπορεί να μας δίνει αρκετό προϊόν για να μπορέσουμε να, τη ζήτηση, να, να ικανοποιήσουμε τη ζήτηση.